LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga is one of the best LEGO games of all time and my personal favorite. From the fun levels and awesome characters, what isn't there to like about this game? In fact, you should be playing it right now instead of watching this video. Well, maybe after you finished watching the video. Okay. But anyway, one of the most iconic parts of the game was the most Isley Cantina. This is where you were supposed to pick which level you wanted to play, but let's be honest, most of us just started canceling the brawls. So I decided to build this iconic location with real Lego bricks. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna need a base plate. Yeah, that'll do. So now that the base plate is ready, it's time to work on the bar counter. So I came up with this design for it and I think it looks pretty good. It was kind of hard to get the corners right, but it's difficult to make something that isn't Lego, Lego, out of Lego, if that makes any sense at all. What? Now that the bar is done, it's time to make the surrounding area where the minifigure stands to interact with the bartender, and I think that looks pretty good. Now it's time to build the behind the bar area. So I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna put the shelves to the right a little bit, because that's what it looks like in the game, because on the left there's a big doorway for the bartender, I guess, to leave through. So I came up with this shelf design. I had to really downscale a bunch of the models to put on the shelves, but I think it looks pretty good and you can tell what they are. So after that, I went to the other wall. And in this wall, there is a bunch of doors that lead to different levels in the game. I'm thinking about including four different doors. One of them is the multiplayer arcade as like a different design. And then the other three are doors to different movies. So for the door design, this took a very long time to make, but I'm thinking this kind of build, it looks very accurate to what you see. There's like some gaps, there's some texture on the door. And then for the labels above the door that show which level you're entering, I'm using these joystick pieces, and I think that looks pretty good. I probably used an illegal building technique. So now it was time to make some tables. So this table design, as with everything in this build, took a very long time to make, mostly because I didn't have the pieces to make it. I found a design that would work to make the tables look accurate, and then I didn't have enough. So I eventually decided on this weird design I have here. So it's been a while of building, so now I'm gonna add minifigures. So what I wanna do for the minifigures in the canteen is I only wanna include older ah! minifigures, so minifigures from like 2005, which is when the game came out, or around that time. So I decided to include a bunch of old minifigures from my collection, including Darth Vader, a light up Obi-Wan I found, and some old stormtroopers. One of the most challenging minifigures I had to do was to get Wooher the bartender, because I did not have any of the pieces shown in the game. So I kind of came up with this design here. I think he looks okay. Definitely not very accurate, but that's the best I could do. One eternity later. All right, so the canteen is looking very good. I'm not going to show it yet, because I want to leave that till the end. But I do have to do one more thing, and that is to add a bunch of pipes to the top because in the game there's a bunch of random pipes not really sure why those are there but I have a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna do so I think I'm gonna put these big like rail pieces together and have some tubes on the end so they can bend and I think it looks pretty good and that is the final part of the build so without further ado here is the Lego Star Wars the complete saga most Isley Cantina hub world mock man that is a long title <laughs> Well, you did it. You finished watching the video. Now go play the complete saga.